It is one of the fastest growing white collar crimes in mid Michigan and across the country. Someone stealing your house without you even knowing it. News 10's Rachel Thomas explains how they do it and how to protect yourself. The FBI now ranks Michigan one of the top five states in the country for property fraud. This is your greatest asset that you have, your home. Uh, it's the way that most of us have built wealth over time in America. And for somebody to be able to steal that wealth from you is a very serious situation. In Michigan, it only takes two signatures to transfer property to another owner. If a thief is willing to forge your name, they can take out a mortgage loan and steal the equity from your home. The technology has moved in terms of banking. Uh, you never have to actually see a banker uh, necessarily to get a mortgage any longer. You can do it largely online. County officials say it's not only easier to steal your house than it is to steal your car. If it happens to you, it's likely you won't even notice. You're not going to know about it until uh, you get a credit report with an extra mortgage on there that you didn't know about. You go to sell your, your home and there's a cloud on the title. Or in the worst case scenario, that person stops making the payments and you get a foreclosure notice. Once you do notice the crime, prosecutors say the limited manpower, funding, and priority of these crimes make them difficult to investigate. One is a resource issue because there was only one deputy available to do the investigation. And they're very paper intensive. If you've ever closed a mortgage, you know how many papers that you have to do in order to close the mortgage. So Ingham County has set up an online alert system. It, it will give them uh, relatively real-time information. So they'll know about it before the person actually has the, the opportunity to use it. So until the law requires more security, Michiganders should protect themselves. In Ingham County, Rachel Thomas, News 10. Officials say people most at risk are those who have lived in their home for years, letting their equity build up.